Good morning, friends. Oh, it's morning. It's coffee time. So I uh, made the girls some toast. They're having um, honey toast and jelly toast, whatever, for breakfast. Wyatt mowed down some breakfast and ran out the door with Grandpa. Wyatt and Grandpa are going to go rake hay um, so that when Daddy gets home tonight, he can go bale hay, make some bales, because we are going to have one heck of a storm. <laughs> it sounds like, um, oh, what is that? I can't even think of what that storm's called now. Oh, uh, whatever. Anyway, the storm's coming, and supposedly it's coming all the way up to Minnesota. So, like, Wisconsin's supposed to get or, yeah, Wisconsin and Iowa and stuff, like, four inches or something like that. But, it like, we're right on the corner, bottom edge of it, so we might only get two inches of rain tomorrow, which isn't a big deal, obviously, two inches. But, you know, it depends on how fast it comes, too. So, anywho, it's going to be rainy for the next day or two, so um, Ethan's got to get the hay up and baled, and then we're good. So Grandpa and Wyatt are out there making sure it's tedded and dried and raked and ready to go as soon as Ethan gets home from work. So yeah, I am trying to enjoy my first day of summer break. First official day of summer break. No school, no distance learning. None of that crap. <laughs> I don't got to work. They don't got to learn. I don't got to teach. Whoop, whoop. And I, I turned off my alarm so that I could actually like sleep in today. And I woke up at 8.40. My alarm usually goes off at 8.45. What the hell? So anyway, first day of summer break, I'm awake early anyway. Dumb. I was kind of hoping I could sleep till like 10. Like maybe the kids would just chill and let me sleep till 10. Yeah. Forget it. Not happening. Anywho, I'm going to drink my coffee. And I'm going to watch the news. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. I can't decide if I want to clean the house. I should probably go out and mow the lawn. Because, again, it's going to rain for the next couple days. It hasn't been uh, hasn't been mowed in a few days because I broke it. <laughs> Somehow the deck came off the riding lawnmower. And I I didn't break it. It just happened to happen while I was mowing. What ifs? <laughs> So I should probably get out there and make sure that everything gets mowed and cleaned up so that when it does rain, all is good. And I don't have to worry about it drying out so that I can try and mow it again in a couple of days. Even though I probably will mow it again in the weekend. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, drink coffee and watch the news. Alright, so normally on Sundays I would do meal prep for the week. But yesterday was Wyatt's birthday. He's 10 years old. Yay! So I have nothing meal prepped, and I kind of wanted to spend June cleaning out our cabinets and stuff, and pantry and fridge. So, yeah, I have nothing planned for supper. <laughs> but I think what I want to try is make like a low-carb, not quite keto, but low-carb um, veggie pizza, kind of like we used to make before I had surgery and before we started doing keto and low-carb and all that business. So it's um, usually... Oh, what is it called? Like the Pillsbury croissant type crust. You bake that and then you put the ranch and I don't forget what it is. It's like ranch and cream cheese or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. And then on top of that, you put carrots and broccoli, radishes, cauliflower, whatever, and cheese. And um, it's like a cold veggie pizza, whatever. So with the free lunches that we got from the school during the school year, on uh, during our distance learning we got packages like this for the kids in the lunches that they gave us and the kids are kind of because and don't want to eat vegetables by themselves so i think what i'm going to do tonight is try and make like a like a fat head dough crust and then put everything on it like i normally would so it'll still be low carb not quite keto because there's, you know, carrots and stuff too, but, um, but lower carb and hopefully taste maybe not as good as it would with the crescent roll crust, but I'm hoping we can make it taste pretty decent. 
fingers crossed. So yeah, that's my plan for supper tonight. Tomorrow we're going to have spaghetti um, and we'll use the healthy noodles from Costco for the hubby and I and the kids will have regular spaghetti. But other than that, I have nothing planned for suppers this week. So I'm going to have to go through my cupboards and pantry and fridge and freezer and try and figure something out because yeah, let's try and spend less money in June because yeah, yo, mm, mm. May leading up to Wyatt's birthday was expensive. So. <laughs> All right. So now I need to go do some chores. All right. I'm going to do a couple things while I'm in here. First of all, I'm going to turn on this water because this one, ugh, this one goes out there to the pigs and the one sad little cow we have out there. Uh, maybe I better check on that first. Anyway, I'm going to check on that. Nah, we'll let it go. We'll let it go. I'll check on that a bit. Now, please excuse my messy barn. I am well aware of what an absolute poop storm it is in here. It's on my list of things to do. <laughs> but last night I came in here to feed the cats. And look what I found. I found a raccoon in my barn, living the high life, eating all of my cat food. What the hell? So, I'm going to try and set you down somewhere. Give me a second. I'm going to set you right there. Well, I talk. So, I'm going to set up a couple of traps. Um, the last thing I want anywhere near here are raccoons. They eat cats. They eat chickens. They eat pretty much everything that I care about. So I'm going to set up a trap here in the barn. Of course, I don't have any, um, any more cat food left because the raccoon ate it all. But I have some marshmallows, and raccoons love marshmallows. So I'm going to throw a marshmallow in there for this trap because this is where I found him, eating all my stuff. And then I'm going to set another trap out kind of by the garden. There's a bigger trap out there, and I'll set one up there too. Hopefully between this one and that one we'll catch him. I get the feeling he'll probably come back tonight looking for more cat food, but you know, we'll see. So yeah, there's that. Set up, hopefully. We will catch ourselves a raccoon before he eats any of my chickens or my cats. And now to go feed the pigs. Hi ladies! Are you hungry? Are you hungry? I got some nummies for you. Uh, our slop bucket. Oh yeah, now they're gonna fight. Wow, ladies, chill out. So yeah, I've been adding some corn to the bottom to kind of soak up some of the liquids that we threw in there. And then, you know, they'll eat that because they won't eat it unless it's... Hi, Willa, be nice. That's your baby, be nice to your baby. God, you guys are grumps. Anyway, so I'm adding corn to the bucket every day. Ouch! Rude! You just scared the crap out of one of the cats. Hi, Mama. <sighs> adding corn to soak up the water so that these two can argue over it. Such brats. So the good news is... The cats have moved out here and are pretty much living under the pile of spare tin for the roof. And since they've moved out here with the piggies, this crazy mess of mice have gone down to like nothing. I haven't seen a rat or a mouse run through here in at least the last couple of days. Now I'm going to say that one's going to go right <laughs> But for real, like I haven't seen a mouse or a rat of any sort, they normally run right along here and then over into that pile of hay where our, our building fell down recently and yeah, cats are doing their job. I see you. Hi mama and babies. Hi. You sleeping on mama's head? Oh my god, the second I turn a video on they start arguing. They just start complaining. Hi mama and babies. Bye! There goes hubby off to bail. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. 
bunch of babies in there. I see one of them anyway. She's snuggling with you. Or he's snuggling with you. Sorry, they're all boys. <gasps> Literally, they were silent. You guys are making me crazy. All right, back here is my pumpkin patch. Or at least it will be come fall. <laughs> but this is where I grow them every year. Um, right here we've got my pumpkins. So between those two are all pumpkins. Between these two, these are all various forms of squash. And then over here is supposed to be zucchini. And I always grow zucchini here, but... <gasps> oh, I had three zucchini plants in here, and that was it. And something flipping ate him. The three zucchini plants I had left are now gone. What the hell? It's really hard to eat well when something steals all your zucchini plants. I cannot wait till our dog gets here. It's going to be so fabulous. Ugh. So I'm definitely putting one out here. Again, don't judge my messy barn. It's a very old farm. Ugh. Oh, Jesus, this thing is heavy. Okay. I'm going to try and get it out of here. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> This sucker is giant and will catch just about anything. Like, I even think you could catch a coyote in this sucker. But this is the one I used to use back here to catch... Oh, heck, what are those called? Woodchucks. I get woodchucks. And that's probably what ate my flipping plants over there, jerk. Anyway, I'm going to throw a marshmallow in here. Ready? One, two, three! Oh, good enough. Um... I might go grab, like, a, an apple core or something, too, because I'm out of breath. Um, yeah, those things I was just talking about, woodchucks, yeah, those suckers, mean little things. They prefer fruit, um, sometimes vegetables and stuff, and that's probably why my plants have disappeared. It probably went, mm, yum, zucchini seedlings. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Makes me so mad. So anyway, I'll bring out an apple core or something later and put in this one, along with marshmallow, just in case, you know. Mostly because I had it in my butt pocket, and I didn't want it to melt in there. Oh, crap, it's hot out here. All right. So I set this little sprinkler system up here, because it's like 95 degrees here today, and yeah, it's this we're not used to that, that hot of weather here and um hello chickens <laughs> excuse my rambling what the heck happened there anyway i set this little sprinkler system up it keeps their water filled it gives them plenty of places to drink more water and they like to kind of go under it and just kind of hang out and get wet when they get really hot so i set that up for them this morning so that they can cool off throughout the day and then i'll just turn it off later in the evening when it cools down a little bit you like it don't you ladies my Elvira is missing. My all black hen. She's my only black hen. I've got Barred Rocks and uh, Rhode Island Reds and one black Asian hen, and she is missing. And I'm trying not to freak out. Oh, look, there's a hole in my hose right next to my feed. Why wouldn't it be? Jeez Louise. So, anyway, what I started doing every morning. Wyatt throws out some feed to them. We've been mixing our corn from the bin now with um, some laying feed for the hens. But I'm stealing from here. I'm going to put two, let's do three, yeah, let's do four. Four scoops of this little combination of feed and um, corn. And then I'll take this in the house with me. And over top of it, we'll pour all the liquids that usually end up going, you know, in the pig bowl over the day. Um, milk people didn't drink. Sometimes green tea that people didn't drink. Shh, don't tell my husband. Um, coffee that didn't get drank up, whatever. Yeah, this bucket looks gross. <laughs> and all my ladies want it now. Um, yeah, so anything we don't eat, anything we don't drink goes in the bucket. And then I take it out to the pigs every day to help supplement what they eat out of the bin. And now my chickens are loving my bucket. 
You only love me for my bucket, I swears. Girls, where's Elvira and like five other hens? You're missing some of your troops. What have I got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine out of twelve of the Rhode Island Reds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Alright, so yeah, I'm missing, I got all my barred rocks, which are these black and white ones. Those are all here. And I'm missing about three of the Rhode Island Reds. And, oh Lord have mercy. Why is everybody so nasty to each other today? Is it the heat? Jeez Louise. And, um, Elvira is missing. So yeah, that's about four hens. I was thinking six when I was trying to count last night, but, uh, four. We're missing four hens. Three Rhode Island Reds and a Black Asian. What the hell? Where is my favorite chicken? Why is it always the favorite? What? Oh, okay. So, ignore the mess. Obviously, we had a birthday party here yesterday. Not really a party. It was my birthday. It was us. Um, but yeah, I cleaned up nothing since then. So, anyway, the girls asked for... What are these called again? I have no idea. French toast bites. Yes, oh, French yes. toast bites. French toast bites for lunch. Um, some for you? Thank you. So I made them some French toast bites. It's 12.30. <laughs> Time for some lunch. I have not eaten anything today yet. Whoops. Um, yeah. <laughs> Looks like you're close, but you're not, you're not close. There you go, Anna. I got yours. <laughs> So yeah, I haven't made any. I haven't made myself any lunch. I have no idea. I'm gonna look in the freezer and try and find one of. Mama. What? Can I get ketchup? Yes, you can. She likes to dip her French toast sticks in ketchup. Where's the ketchup? Um. That's a good question. What's in here? Okay, we'll use whatever one's in there. I wanna watch you. Gigi's watching me. Anyway, the house is a mess because it was Wyatt's birthday yesterday and I did nothing to clean whatsoever. I did no meal prepping. I did no cleaning. We all just had a day off. So we need some lunch. I'm probably going to take something out of the freezer. I'm thinking some chicken cordon bleu leftovers. That's a nice low carb, keto-y, bariatric friendly delightfulness. Can you give me two seconds and I will help you? Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm going to make that for lunch for myself. The girls are having French toast bites with ketchup instead of syrup, mm. whatever floats your boat. And then we will work on cleaning up this mess. And I still have to get outside and mow the lawn today. Uh-huh. Yep. And daddy and grandpa and, um, Wyatt are all raking and, um, Raking and spinning. I was trying to say bailing hay. Raking and bailing hay right now and probably won't be home till supper time. So, yeah. So we gotta get this house clean. And the garbage is in the recycling out and down to the end of the driveway because tomorrow's garbage day. Oh. Oh. Man. And, yeah. I'm rambling now. Because that's how I roll. <laughs> I'm to go get this child some ketchup. All right, I am done mowing. I am hot and I am sticky and sweaty and gross. I cannot wait to get in the pool. However, first thing I gotta do, is turn the bowl water on because, take this out of my ear now, they don't have very much water. It's hot as hell. And they don't have as much place to hide. They've got a little bit of shade out here, but not a lot. Let's see if you can see. Oh, where'd it go? Mer right there. There's one of the bulls. Holy crap, I'm hot and I'm winded. I'm getting exercise, that's for darn sure. And I'm gonna get wet as I try to put this in farther. All right, well, ow, for the love. Okay, so it's not. I'm gonna die. I'm so hot. Yeah, I got a sprinkler going. 
It's putting water into the water tank for the for the bulls. But it's also kind of spraying it off over, over this way. <laughs> it's also spraying water off the side, so if they want to come up and get a drink, they can go on that side of it. And if they want to cool off a little bit, they can come over on this side of it and get wet. And, yeah. Holy guacamole. Ah, it's pool time, for sure. Hi, buddy. Hi. You lifted your head and everything. What you doing? I see your other buddies all the way out there on the other side of the pasture. It's too hot to even be close to each other, isn't it? And I have no idea. I can never remember which one is which unless I'm looking directly at their ear tags. And I think one of them lost their ear tag and I don't remember which one it was. So I think, yeah, I think I don't know. Could be Tex. I'm sorry, it's 10X or it's Profit. I call 10X Tex. And I call Prophet, oh, geez, I could center that for you a little bit. Um, Prophet, I like to call Jesus, to be funny. Get it? Get it? Prophet? Jesus? Jesus? Ah. Oh, that's a bad dad joke. Hi, bud! You want some water? Come on! He's like, nope. I'm eating the uh, clover, I'm good. A little grass in my belly, I'm happy. Oh. Holy Hannah, look at how red I am. Woo! I am red, 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 and grass. I have this cool little thingy in my new swimming suit, but there's grass everywhere because I'm covered in grass and I need to go cool off in the pool. So, yeah. I'm going to go get in the pool. I might. <laughs> Peachy might join me. I'm going to cool off in one of my new swimming suits. I'm excited. Let's go do some swimming. All right, I am done in the pool. It was glorious. The temp is at like 81 degrees in the pool and 90 something outside the pool. And it was just perfect. It was a perfect combination. The water was warm enough. The outside was hot and the water felt good. <sighs> I got a nice exercise in and some good floating time. So I'm pretty happy with that. I now have the crust to my veggie pizza that I'm experimenting with. I have that in the oven, um, and I'll get working on that. I'm going to make a video about how I made this, so look for that separate video. And, uh, yeah, I am, I'm going to sit down for a minute and drink a little of my flavored water. It's not LaCroix. It is the Costco version of LaCroix. I don't know what that's called. And, yes, I am using party supplies from Leftover. <laughs> I can't really handle the fizz because of my, you know, gastric bypass surgery. So I crack the cans open and I put them in my fridge in the little door drink holder thingy. And I let them sit there overnight. And then they lose their fizz. And then when I put them in with ice, that like super helps water it down. And uh, delightfully light grape flavored water. Grape? No. Grapefruit. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to sit down for a few minutes while this, uh, what have I got there? Eight minutes left? So I'll show you guys later how that turned out. All right, we just finished supper. And I'm running back up here to check on the bull water. I turned off the water, the faucet thingy. And now I'm going to go look and see how full their water is. Hello. Hello, sir. Who do I have right there? Hi, buddy. Oh, I can't tell. Can you turn towards me? Come here. Come here. Come here. See? Bull. <laughs> He's gonna walk away. You're supposed to walk towards me. Come here, bub. These bulls are super friendly. Don't worry. And there's also a bar bar fence, an electric fence between me and the bull. So, yeah. Hey. Buddy Lou. Anyway, I'm gonna look at the water. The boys came over to say hi and get a drink. A little salt lick. There's Tex over there. Profit right here. <laughs> you must have been thirsty, dude. <laughs> yeah. You must have been thirsty. Yeah, these guys are super mellow, super friendly. I'm really not scared of them at all. Of course, there is a, you know, barbed wire and electric fence and a gate between me and the two of them at the moment, so. <laughs> But even when I'm in the cow yard with them, I'm not scared. They're good boys. Yeah, you're good boys. You're good bulls. 
I like having you guys here. Hi, bud. I know. I gotta get some fly spray on you guys. Some flies are just vicious. They're mean, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> buddy. Flies are meaner than you guys are by long shot. By a long shot. Alright, boys. You better go back in the house or they're gonna wonder where I went. Though I'm kind of enjoying hanging out here with you two. Alright, gentlemen. Goodbye. Bye bye. Alright, ladies. The night. Time for sleepy. Good night, girls. I don't even feel like all of you are, like, not even close to all of you are in here. Where is everybody hiding? All right, friends, that's it. Everybody's in bed. The kids are in bed. The hubby's in bed. Just put the chickens in the coop. Still feel like I'm missing way too many chickens in there. I think I'm going to do a once around the yard and see if I can find them. Otherwise, I don't know. We'll do a head count tomorrow. I'm not even laying eggs yet. Please don't go away. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. As always, feel free to like and subscribe and share. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.